God. So yeah, the seat height's quite tall. But yeah, it's okay. Need to adjust the mirrors. All right, moment of truth, people. Doesn't have a clunk when you're going to first gear, which is interesting. She's very smooth. Ooh. Yeah. I mean, the mirrors are a bit weird. All right, first impressions. The riding position is. It's quite nice. If you've ridden a naked bike before, then you should feel right at home. Not too far removed from uh, what my ER6N is like. Can I start filtering a bit? Oh, it sounds nice. I t I'm not wearing earplugs, so I can appreciate the full effect. The clutch is a bit heavy. Heavier. God, it just revs so nicely, isn't it? I could do this all day. <laughs> the clutch feels heavier than my ER6. It bites, you know, pretty easily, but it, it's just that if you hold it, I'm the type that likes to hold the clutch in rather than sort of put it in neutral, so... I guess I'd probably have to get used to sticking it in neutral in the junctions. <laughs> okay. All right, calm down. Let's wait for a, a, a bit. Let's wait for a bit more decent, clear roads to uh, <laughs> do that again. The dash is um, the dash is nice. I always like digital speedos and analog tacks. Um, although the wires are in the way, that's a bit weird. Uh, a fuel gauge, a fuel gauge, and a gear position indicator. A well done, Triumph. Bloody hell. It's either one or the other these days, isn't it? It's nice to have both. Ooh. All right, yeah. Okay, so the vibration's kind of, it, it's smooth, but once it gets angry, it lets you know about it. <laughs> But uh, you know, beyond sort of what five, six thousand revs, the bike's like f you, f you world, f you cars, f you road. It's like Nicolas Cage and Face Off, you know. Um, whilst I'm at a stop, in terms of weight, feels all right actually, even for my little legs. I still can't um, actually put both my feet down comfortably though, I'm still on my tiptoes. <laughs> oh my goodness! Oh. Now that! It's pretty damn nice. And this is a stock exhaust! With a aftermarket one, like an Arrow or SC project. Brakes are very good. Okay, all right, calm down. Let's not get carried away. <laughs> this is awesome. This is awesome. It's criminal to keep this below 5,000 revs, man! Oh my god! <laughs> yeah, yeah. This thing's a rocket ship! The suspension's a bit firm as well, I guess, because it is the R model. You know, it's not the most comfiest of rides. It would be interesting to see how it takes on potholes. Probably not quite well. 
Oh, with a bike sounding like this. Who cares? You can just flick this left and right and it just shrugs it off. You want to go left? Okay. You want to go right? Okay. Deal with it. That's what this bike is telling me. Oh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. At some point I need to turn around as well because I don't want to go too far and then get lost and then be that one guy on the demo day that has to call the showroom and say, hey, I'm lost, oh, could you could you come find me and take me home, mommy? Mommy, I'm lost. <laughs> oh. But this machine though, it's nice and smooth when it's very tame. It's a very schizophrenic machine if you know what I mean. You know, you can just sit happily at what, 4,000 revs? And I don't feel a thing. But then as soon as you give it some, oh, Pandora's box is open. Check out that view, huh? Not a bad place to take a test ride. And not a bad day for one either. As Ross, aka Roadcraft Nothington would say. Let's have a quick debrief. Oh, side stand's a bit weird to find. She looks gorgeous in white, doesn't she? Mm-hmm. I don't think I could own another white bike though. Yeah, I'd probably have to be in black. She's uh, not stock. I mean, look, she's got the micro indicators, the crash protectors, Anodized front and rear brake reservoirs, fly screen, belly pan. These two are a must, in my opinion, because this light cluster on its own, it, it can't pull the look off. It needs the fly screen. Very, very nice bike. The red accents as well. Man, that is sexy as hell. Stock exhaust, um, uh, Brembo brake, brake, only one, but still. <laughs> so, as a uh, petite rider, let's see how this bike feels to uh, just push about a bit, shall we? Mm. Side stand up. The side stand isn't spring loaded. That's weird. Let's push her about, shall we? Um, yeah, it's all right. It's like I'm doing the mod one again. Uh, no pillion grab handle, so just get a good grip of the seat. And uh, yeah, there we go. Oh, it is spring loaded, just not on the way up, it seems, which is weird. At least, as far as this model is concerned, there's only the adjustable brake lever. I would have liked to see an adjustable clutch lever as well. But I guess, after a while, you could swap these with aftermarket levers. That's the start-up sequence, by the way. Clutch in to start. Gosh, she sounds good, doesn't she? Not too... Just a, only a little bit snatchy in first gear, but... But not as much as mine, I would say. So I'd say doing slow manoeuvres in this won't be too bad. Bites nice and easy in first gear, though. Very smooth. And that's... Smoothness continues all the way up through the gearbox. Three, two, one. Actually, you know what? Six gear, okay? 35 miles an hour. There you go. Up to 60. And I'm going uphill as well. I'd like to try out its overtaking capabilities. I'm still primed in second gear. Grrr. This 
just an all round nice package man really really nice oh god I want one I want one <laughs> it would be a nice upgrade wouldn't it mm. playing devil's advocate here test riding this thing it's so nice to be able to see what gear you're in as well sorry it's just like <laughs> it genuinely is nice it's not like I forget but you know sometimes it's it's that 98% of the time you know what gear you're in but it's that 2% of the time that bites you in the bloody ass. do you think you're in first nope you're in second a few moments later oh in second gear um crap I don't remember there being this much traffic I better check the map before I go too far oh everyone's so nice here yeah I'm kind of going into the center somewhere here I don't want to do that um see if I can turn off somewhere. <sighs> Jesus. Damn it! Why didn't you just Why can't why can't you do life better, Walker? To get lost on the bloody awesome bike. Well this is an awesome bike to get lost on, I'll, I'll give you that. Um No, I don't want to go to any of those places. Um No, I don't want to do that either. Sorry. Bloody hell. I think I better take a U-turn. Oh no! No, 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 no! This is that horrendous... Um... Thing. This is, this is the really, really bad roundabout. Yeah, 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 yeah. Crap. It's like a roundabout of roundabouts. God. God damn it. I better get off here. I don't want to get lost into this cluster f Take a right and the roundabout and then take a left and then I should be back to where I was. Right, okay. Right. Yay for technology, huh? Fucking hell. Right. I didn't really want to call them out to come pick me up. Oh, uh, you're numpty. Side stand. Oh yeah, so that's a feature by the way. I totally did that on purpose. Can't start the bike or put the bike in... Uh, you can't put the bike in first gear if the... If the side stand is down. Oh bloody hell. It's not it's not fun being a short rider, I'll tell you that way. On the, such a steep camber road on a bike you can't really flat foot. Tell you what though, this bike is happy to sit in first gear. And it's not too snatchy. Engine braking wise. Old town centre. No, I don't want to go there. Let's take a left. Okay, so this is the roundabout I should have gone. Right? A414... Uh, well, it... Let's just go. Yeah. Oh. Finally, we made it back. Well, that was an eventful test ride, wasn't it? <laughs>